Aloha. Um, today is the last day of the conference and also the opportunity for us to acknowledge the achievement of quite a few superstars as researchers at the conference. So let me quickly take only 30 seconds to share with you a little bit about the philosophy of the conference for the last 51 years. So the core contribution of the Higgs conference is basically on the quality of the research work. And basically it depends on the quality of the track chairs that I would like to uh, recognize and honor them today. So please give me a round of applause to the hard work of those track chairs. Thank you. So basically the way the conference is organized is that we have about 500 or so papers that are double blind, reviewed, and then we have what we call the edge outside the core, and the idea is to organize a series of symposia, workshops, and tutorials to explore the cutting edge of knowledge in the field. So for those presentations, we do not require the rigor of the research papers, but the idea is to explore and shape the direction of future research in the MIS field. And then, within the core, we would like to launch a series of efforts that I define as seeding. So in the seed of the core, what we are trying to do is to start grooming a new generation of top scholars in the field. And this is why, thanks to the cooperation of the AIS, the Association of Information Systems, we have, we have organized the doctoral consortium so that we can groom future Higgs leaders. So we have the seed, the core, and the H. And then in addition to the H in the, in the outer side, what we are trying to do is to bridge back the industry uh, to the academia. So this is why you have seen for the last few years, we have increasing participation of uh, top research and IT companies in the field, such as IBM and other companies. So with the concept of seed, the core, the edge, and the bridge, then we should be able to have a good future for evolving the field that we are in. So this year, I'm so pleased to report to you two important news. The proceedings of the Higgs 50, which is last year, received more than 200,000 downloads. Uh, so for the authors, So the idea is very simple, uh, the more people get exposed to our work, the more citations we get, and the more reputation we would get out of the work that we are doing here. Um, so uh, again, this is the work of all of the authors, and this is about time for us to recognize them too, uh, for their achievement. So traditionally, we have uh, a best paper for each of the tracks. And because of the fact that we only have 20 minutes and we're already talking for three minutes already, so the, the chairs will be announcing the best paper that they have elected, voted, and then the authors will come to the right hand side along with the track chairs to take a, a photo and a, getting a certificate. And after that, we would recognize the, uh, the work by the Doctor <coughs> Consortium and also the support by IBM and ISEP for their work on supporting the students' work at the conference. So with no further ado, the first track is Collaboration Systems. Greetings. For the Collaboration Systems and Technology track, we had a paper that uh, rose to the top and, and, uh, and earned the award of Best Paper. It was in the Creativity in Teams and Organizations mini-track. And it, uh, it was titled, Development and Validation of the Information Systems Creative Self-Efficacy Scale, authored by Catherine Carl Payne, Mark Keith, Jeffrey Babb, and Alexander Spirillo. In the Decision Analytics, Mobile Services and Service Science track, we got uh, 11 Best Paper nominations. And after evaluation, we made the decision that uh, the Best Paper goes to the 
gamification mini track, the interaction of trade competitiveness and leaderboard design, and the experimental analysis of effects on perceptions and usage intention. The authors are Christoph Hölig, Andra Nikt Tumashan, and Isabel Velpe. Good afternoon. In the digital and social media track, I'm pleased to announce that the best paper has been awarded to a paper from the Social Movements and Social Technologies mini track. The paper is entitled The Influence of Social Media on Collective Action in the Context of Digital Activism and Affordance Approach. And the authors are Manju Ahuja, Pankaj Patel, and Aeyong Su. Good afternoon. In the electronic government track, this year's winner comes from social media and government. That mini track is co chaired by Roni Medallia, Margit Show, and Ephraim Lucas. The paper is titled The Diffusion of Crisis Related Communication on Social Media An Empirical Analysis of Facebook Reactions, authored by Bjorn Ross, Tobias Potoff, and friends. Congratulations. Okay, um, in the electric energy system track, we had a lot of great submissions this year, so it was hard to pick one, but ultimately we narrowed our best paper down into the integrating distributed or renewable resources mini track, and the winner uh, is optimization-based load shedding scheme in microgrids, and it will uh, be, or it was presented by author Andy Son, and Lindsay Anderson, the mini track chair, is gonna accept the award. Thank you. It was a banner year for us in the uh, information technology and healthcare track with 15 mini tracks. Uh, the best paper this year comes from the Global Health IT Strategies mini track. And the paper is entitled Image Recognition of Disease Carrying Insects, colon, a system for comb combating infectious diseases using image classification techniques in citizen science. The authors are Pablo Munoz, Rebecca Boger, Scott Dexter, Rizan Lowe, and Justin Lee. Congratulations. In the internet track, the winning paper is in the blockchain mini track. It is entitled Breaking Bad, De-anonymizing De entity types on the Bitcoin blockchain using supervised machine learning. And the authors are Harlev, Yin, Langenheld, Mukamala, and Vitrapu. This year in the Keys track, we had 13 sessions that helped us understand how organizations are more knowledgeable, more innovative, and more entrepreneurial. And our winner comes from the Knowledge Flows Transfer Sharing and Exchange mini track. It's data analytics and knowledge integration mechanisms, the role of social interactions and innovation management by Georgie Sherodazi and Heinz Theo Wagner. And I apologize if I screw up the pronunciation. The organizational and systems track is a large one with uh, 17 mini tracks with close to 200 submissions. The winning paper this year is. When All Meets New Wholesale Agency Models in the Market for Printed and Electronic Books by Antonio Kim from the Strategy, Information, Technology, Economics, and Society mini track. Congratulations. <laughs> And finally, from the software technology track, we had a, a difficult uh, time choosing between the nine nominated papers. Uh, the winning paper comes from the Metrics, Models, and Simulation for Cyber Physical Systems mini track. The paper is Semi Symbolic Simulation and Analysis of Deviation Propagation of Feature Coordination in Cyber Physical Systems. Uh, the authors are Michael Rathmeyer, Christoph Flippenader, Hermann Kindl, and Karna Radicic. Congratulations. No problem. Busy taking pictures. <laughs> um, 
So um, the next set of award is about the doctoral consortium. Of, um, I say P first, right? Okay, um, again, the idea here is to promote the next generation of uh, Higgs leaders, and we are so thrilled to have a IBM ISIB to support the conference, the conference by giving the best paper award with some money as well. Um, so I would like to invite Haluk and you to go up and then share a little bit what you have um, to the audience. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Yossimo Gadam. I'm the Executive Director of International Society of Service Innovation Professionals. And um, I'm here with my colleagues from ISIP, Heather Yorko, um, Ralph Badanelli, and Haluk de Mercan. And um, uh, for those of us who don't know ISIP, we are, inter uh, we, we are all about service innovation, which is um, systems that um, uh, co-create value for individuals, institutions, and society at large. And um, Hicks is the perfect match for ISIP to co-create value, and this is the fourth year we are sponsoring the conference. So it is my pleasure to also hand out the IBM ISIP University of Washington Award, so um, we have five awards, um, and these are money awards from 500 to 100, and we'll ch hand out the certificates and uh, mail the checks. So without further ado, I'll read the names, and if the recipients would come up, that would be great. Jung Yoon Sung, Hyun Jae Kim, Jaeku Lee, Yu Shin Choi, Min So Kim, Sung Ro Yoon. Anyone here? <laughs> okay. The second paper. Actually, we received 33 papers, and of these 33 papers, five have been selected. The second paper is Breaking Bad, the Anonymizing Entity Types on the Bitcoin Blockchain Using Supervised Machine Learning, Michael Alexander Harlev. They're here. Hu Huan Sun Yin, Klaus Christian Langenhalt, Raghava Mukamala Ravi Batrapu. Performance characterization of state of the art, deep learning workloads, and an IBM Minsky platform. And I've been instructed to just read the paper names. <laughs> so <laughs> here is the third one. The fourth, a structured framework to assess the Business Application Landscape of Blockchain Technologies. The fifth one is how to include humanoid robots into experimental research, a multi-step approach. And last but not least, I'd like to call Ralph Badinelli to the stage to acknowledge him for having served as, served as ISAP president for 2017. Um, every year, ISAP uh, elects a president, and I, uh, Ralph has served ISAP for the last year. Thank you so much, Ralph. And. 
Congratulations to the recipients of the awards. Thank you. All right, we are on time, which is really good. Um, so, <laughs> so the last one is to recognize the work of the mentors and the students who come to Hawaii for the first time to participate to the doctoral consortium. So I would like to um, invite the doctoral consortium chair, Tay Chen, to come to the podium. So while he's coming up on the stage, I would like to share with you an, a second piece of interesting news for this year. The youngest participant of X51, do you know how old is she? 16, that's right, Chloe from Punahou, the school from where President Obama went to. She came here and gave a presentation on how to use deep machine learning to improve the quality of education. <laughs> Congratulations, Chloe. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, since last year, HIX50, uh, we have instantiated a doctoral consortium to recognize outstanding young individuals that will be the future leaders of our discipline. They come uh, to the conference one day before the workshops and work with their mentors for a day to learn about research, academia, academic life, and how to develop a career and become a leader in the field. This year we were fortunate, we had over 50 very strong applications from which 23 fellows were selected. And I believe we have them on the screen. Here are the, the fellows of this year. I would like to invite, first of all, the 12 mentors that worked with the fellows to stand up so that we can recognize them. And now I would like to ask the fellows to stand up, be recognized. And and I invite their mentors to bestow upon them the honor of becoming a Hicks Fellow for the rest of their career. So we have our certificates. We will come together for a group picture. But congratulations.